guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to give you guys the tea about my the end of henry and rachel <laughs> so if i'm to give you guys just a short story is we had a couple channel that was doing so well and uh, then sometime this year early this year we decided to close it and and it not we did not not only close the couple's channel but also the instagram page as well and there's more to it that i'll discuss with you uh, throughout this video and i hope you enjoy it so let's get started guys i have been avoiding this topic and i just wished it could disappear like no one really cared and ah uh, if i don't speak about this it will just get worse and I don't want you guys to just think that I'm not open, I'm not transparent, I'm hiding things. Ooh, this elephant has been in the room for quite some time, but now it's time to deal with it and just clear the air. The end of Hendrik and Rachel, that's what we're going to talk about here. And to be honest, oh gosh, I really, I feel nervous, but also vulnerable in a way because I guess the reason as to why I have put this video off for quite some time is because I've always felt like if I come, I might feel the need to make it look better than it actually is. So I guess this channel specifically, I believe that I've built it mostly on my honesty and being vulnerable and telling you things like it is. So shall we? Yeah, my head says no. My heart is like, well, Rachel, I live in my heart. I guess there'll be no makeup happening here at this point. I'll just show you guys. <laughs> yeah, I guess there'll be no makeup. All right. So, apparently, there's some unwritten rule on the internet that if you're a couple, like if you have your life so public, I guess when something happens, you need to update everyone on every single thing that's happening in your life. So, in this case, um, where it started was Henrik's job changed a little and for the most part he was traveling he was never home and when he was he just wanted to spend time with me so we realized that probably having a channel and having to film together wasn't working but as a as as an individual i could not run a couple's channel because if you're signing up for a couple's channel you don't want to go there and just meet one person doing it i mean it, in the long run it probably never works even in the short run it might and of course i don't want you guys to be disappointed like i signed up for two when you order it online versus when it come when it comes i didn't want to do that for, with our channel so i couldn't do it alone and um, it just happens that i had this channel going and i i just focused on it mostly when i'm alone when i'm going to school and I, when i'm working things that i that i do i could comfortably do that and i feel like me and those of you who followed maybe from that channel uh we've just developed a different kind of bonding whereby you guys are just able to relate with me it's a bonus if Hendrik is here but it's not a requirement and i appreciate that so that was the big reason okay but you know there's also other things that i'm just going to be honest with you about so wow guys i filmed an entire <laughs> this without telling you guys without turning on the light like and i filmed a whole video without light like that's how much stressed out i am about this so of course for me i was just a normal girl running around who fell in love with a man and something i did not tell you guys is before i met henrik i was dating some guy who was so uncomfortable with being seen in public with me because i was dark skin and or rather i was black and he was not afraid to say that like he told me straight on my face that was the reason why like he was not comfortable being seen with me in public despite the fact that he loved me and you know <laughs> If you're a young girl or just a girl out there who has a, a man who is slightly racist or no who is absolutely racist please don't pick that nonsense okay stand up for yourself and walk away and that's what i did and of course when i met henrik he was so proud to have me he wanted the whole world to, to see me he started our main channel guys and as opposed to what you put there every other black girl who gets a white man they want to start i know henrik started our youtube channel because he really loved to film he really loved everything behind the technicalities of a camera and b-roll and all that and for those of you who really watched i know the compliments the comments that we most that we got 
mostly it was always on the quality of our vlogs and how funny and everything that we did and that was really nice while it lasted but uh, the downside of vlogging is that sometimes you share and sometimes you overshare and for us that was absolutely the case because we just jumped into it we didn't care too much about it. we didn't even think it would end into something and we shared and we overshared and what that brought in return was i felt like people became a little bit too comfortable privacy it reached a point where privacy was really really needed okay i don't know how normal i look guys but uh, at least i tried to put some lashes on and i'm going to put my lipstick and i'm going to tell you the other side of a uh, couple vlogging that you have to know before you get started <laughs> but you just have to know if you're a young couple out there or just a couple trying to i guess start this whole vlogging life i need to tell you something so you know so you guys want to know my lip combo this is something that i get asked i'll oh, wait wait okay there so you guys ask me a lot about what i put on my lip and guys it's usually just the same things that i i whatever that means so for the base i usually use this sleek it's sleek brownish whatever matte me the color is chocolate meringue 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 whatever you want to call it and then i have this um pink chestnut from rituals this is the plug and when i mix it with this nyx ibiza that i showed you guys then i just have the perfect lip so i'll do that and then i'll come tell you guys the other side of vlogging as a couple that you just have to know you just have to know because i guess you guys want some tea about the behind the scenes of being a couple YouTube couple star. <laughs> so when I had the clinic a little bit, it looks like that, you know. And then when I add this, then ooh, that's it. Then va va voom. Okay, ladies. So this is the makeup. I don't even know how what you learn from this absolutely nothing but i really suck at talking and doing things so i just started to do things then come and talk to you guys looking normal okay so you don't click away because maybe you know being cute helps <laughs> i mean it but i'm kidding but i'm not but yeah let's be honest vlogging does take a lot of your time and it does take a lot of thinking and sometimes it's really hard to be in the moment when you're making content but then there's other factors of course which is more tea like that you guys want to hear about careful vlogging and to be honest i'll just open my heart to you guys so you know since i'm not since you want to know i guess um one thing you have to realize, at least if you're a couple vlogging, there'll always be pressure to get married and to have kids. And for me, that weighed me for quite some time. Every time I would upload something and people would say, wow, cute, cute, cute. But then they'll always be like, oh, we're not getting married, we're not having kids, we're getting married. Like, it felt like my my vow as a woman was so questionable because I didn't know, I wasn't married and I did not have kids. And I'm like, why, why, you know? It doesn't like, you don't have, oh gosh, I would try to avoid like. I hate that like thing when I watch videos. So it's, um, I'd just like to urge anyone who watches couples out there that it's not nice when all you do is continuously pressurize them to get married and have kids. Sometimes people just want to live their lives and share. The funny thing is on my side, it was always being put down people say ah she's not good enough she's selling herself short she's like i would get slut shamed and all that uh for betraying my my for betraying my race for being with a, a caucasian you know the shaming that comes with dating a caucasian man being a gold digger of course uh the ultimate one considering if you're with a guy that provides and stuff people really i guess um slut shame you for that and that was not the end. There's also the aspect of people will try so much to slut shame the woman or people will try so much to maybe put the woman down, maybe pick on my weight and whatever, not having kids, not being that slut shaming. But when it comes to your man, I realized that over time the pursuit 
for my boyfriend became a little bit aggressive and sometimes it can be too aggressive so that's something that you just have to prepare for if you put your life out there there'll be a lot quite a lot much more than you think uh, of uh, people out there really praying for your downfall and hopefully and some actively pursuing that on an active manner so that happened also another thing that i might say if you're a couple uh, vlogging is uh, sharing you know sometimes you just say it's vulnerable you wake up you do whatever but the line between oversharing becomes better because you know you do this on a daily basis but you don't realize it but sometimes after a while you just notice oh shoot i have actually overshared and i definitely did that there was oversharing on my side and I have to deal with the repercussions of that. People become a little bit too comfortable and they have very ridiculous ways of showing it. So I would say that if you are if you're not sure about something, if it's too much or not, then just don't post it and don't bow down to the pressures of having to share everything about your life. And I'm so glad when I started this channel specifically, I'm so happy I was able to um, build it on based on Rachel, based on me and and mostly having fun and just talking open-heartedly about things that really matter and i'm so happy i started this channel and you guys are so supportive so i'd say in the long run i guess what ended up happening is i would share so much and because at some point we just decided to share the highlights of our lives when we travel and all that because Henrik was traveling so much so we said the only time we're able to we are able to share is when we have super highlighted moments that really matter and to be honest with you, I started to feel a little bit guilty. Yes, I started to feel guilty. I'm feeding into the unrealistic expectation of relationships and lives. And didn't really sit well with me, to be honest. <laughs> but I am happy that at least I shared some life. And I remember up to now, actually, especially now, because now I, I speak more open on women knowing your worth, uh, knowing what what you deserve, what to accept and all that. I have had uh, people come to me and tell me how much watching me has made them walk out of toxic relationship. I remember specifically that this woman who contacted me on Instagram and she was like, because I watch you, I was able to do this and do that. And I've even made my, my uh, girls uh, watch you so that they have an idea of what they should kind of expect from a man and I by no means say that my boyfriend is perfect but what I can say is I I have been quite vocal and open about the things that I like what I want what I expect and I believe if a man really loves you they'll do that and don't feel bad if um, if a man tries to show you that you are not that you don't deserve this don't feel bad to stand up for yourself and just move on because anything that one man refuses to give you there's somebody else who'll happily give it and i also believe that sometimes maybe it's not always about material gains or whatever if we all have different uh, love languages and uh, whatever love language that you have if your partner listens and really loves you i'm sure they will give it to you happily so that's the tea basically and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video that I was supposed to be a makeup tutorial that did not end up being a makeup tutorial and if you're someone who's starting out as a youtuber or a couple vlogger or anything I hope I gave you some tips or rather at least you know something that you can possibly expect and if you want to avoid some, something similar to that happening to you maybe you can think differently now older and wiser and Rachel is here with the to rescue you <laughs> all right then so right now I guess ah oh, my headband like I've never tried anything like this also think I look weird which I do but it's fine so now I'm going to dress up right now I just have my lingerie cover because I love to look cute at home when doing nothing you know <laughs> tell me if you're that woman like I'm just I just love this you know just being so you know all right guys so now henrik and i are going somewhere see you in the next video bye i love you